Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. We got to talk about the PS3 emulator, a big update on that, as well as a new Sword Art Online game coming to PC, and it actually doesn't look terrible. More on that in a little bit. Let's first talk about RPCS3, which has been the PS3 emulator that has been making a lot of progress. Initially, it was running games really poorly, but now a lot of games are running really well on it, a main one being Persona 5. Saw that game running on RPCS3, and that blew my mind because Persona 5 is obviously one of the best games of the year, and unfortunately, it did not have a PC release. A big update has happened with RPCS3. Let me read something straight off the blog. They have a new blog post, and it's from K. D11, the graphics developer for RPCS3. And he says, quote, as many are already aware, a lot has been going on lately with the new changes to RSX, the PS3 GPU emulation dubbed Vertex Rewrite. This change moves a lot of Vertex processing duties from the CPU to the GPU where they rightly belong, and as a result, there are massive performance gains, especially with OpenGL, but also with Vulkan and Geometry Heavy scenes. Now, I'll leave the entire blog post linked down below in the description box, as well as a video of the JRPG Nino Kuni running before and after the changes, and you can see after the changes that there are insane improvements. Now, Nino Kuni, it looks like it's fully playable. Obviously, you do need quite the beefy PC to emulate a PS3 with RPCS3, but still, this is massive progress. I never expected a PS3 emulator to come this quickly because the PS3's design architecture was so crazy. A lot of developers complained about that. If you figured out how to utilize it, it could actually push amazing graphics. That's why you saw games like The Last of Us on the PS3, but a lot of the developers, it was annoying for them to develop on the PS3. That's why you saw early on in the generation, a lot of games that were third party were just exclusive to the 360. But nonetheless, now I'm going on in a tangent. A PS3 emulator is making massive progress. And in the next year or two, we could be seeing a platform playing games like Uncharted, Last of Us, and all of the other games that never made its way over to PC. Obviously, emulation is kind of a gray area in terms of legality. Whenever I talk about it, a lot of you guys come at me saying, Mush, you can't promote this kind of stuff. People have to buy these games. But at the same time, time, you know, for somebody like me, I've bought the Uncharted games. Hell, I bought the Uncharted games multiple times because I've bought the games on PS3 and then I bought the collection on PS4. So, you know, for me, I own the majority of these games. At some point in my life, I've spent money to play games like Persona 5, The Last of Us, and all of these games. At some point, that I will be emulating on my PC. So, I've already given them my money, so I don't really think it's a big issue for me, but I can understand if you've never played Persona 5, and in the future, if you're just able to get the emulator, then you can find a sneaky way to get the game. You know, I could see problems with that, but for me, I've supported the developers many, many times, and I think it's okay for me and other people that have paid money to play these games in the past just to play them on PC, our preferred platform. But nonetheless, RPCS3 is making massive progress. Again, I'll leave a link to both the video as well as the blog post in the description box down below. Also, I want to talk about this new Sword Art Online game dubbed Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. If you guys don't know, Sword Art Online is a very popular anime. I watched it back when it came out in like 2000. 12, I think I watched the first season, and I absolutely hated the anime, but I think it has an amazing premise, and some of the design and the production of the anime is absolutely great, but the story and the characters, eh, not my cup of tea. But I always had a lot of love for the premise and the design, and now we are getting the first Sword Art Online game that will also be coming to PC, and it actually looks pretty good. Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet is set in where the second season took place, where they have guns, and the gameplay of the game looks really good. You can see some of it right here, and yeah, this is the first game that's coming to PC. There have been sort of online games in the past, but they were on the Vita and the PS3 and the PS4, I believe. And those games were not very good. They were just very poorly made. The translation to the West was very poor. So hopefully Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet will be better by the gameplay I've seen. I mean, this game looks pretty good and I'll definitely check it out when it releases in early 2018. I know again, some of you guys don't like me covering the Japanese stuff, but I think PC is a great platform because it caters to every audience. And the Japanese market is one that the PC was lacking in for a long time, but now we've got games like Sword Art Online Fatal Blow. We've got games like the Tales of series, God Eaters on PC, Final Fantasy is on PC, and I like to cover these games because, again, PC is covering a market that for a long time on our platform has been neglected, and there's definitely a market for these type of games on PC. They wouldn't keep releasing them if there wasn't. And Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, hopefully it performs well on PC. Hopefully the game turns out to be good. We'll see when it releases in early 2018. So that's going to wrap up this video guys as always thanks for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think about rpcs3 are you excited for a ps3 emulator still got quite a bit of work to be done but it is progressing rapidly and let me know your thoughts on sword online fatal bullet are you a fan
fan of the series? Have you played the other games? Are you excited that this game is coming to PC? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.